Hi Toy Grabbers, welcome back to another I Have Toys Photography Tutorial. Hope you're not bored with my face right here. So, we're going to do a Photoshop, but just a little. Today we're going to focus more on the setup. Today's topic is how to take a snow photography picture inside your house. If you want to use this method outside, it's okay, but I prefer to do it indoors. Without further ado, let's get to the intro. Hi guys, before we start, click this bell icon to get new notification every time I upload new video. And now, let's start the tutorial. First, this is a figure that I will use today. It's a wall-e figure from Disney. And here are the ingredients for the snow effects. I'm using baking soda, but you can also use flour to do a snow effect. Let me know in the comment section below if you're using baking soda too for the snow effect. This is my only lighting for this shot. I only use one desk lamp with an LED bulb also covered with tracing paper. For the background, I use this black PVC paper. And then I put some parts or props from my diorama. So this is like uh, stones and some cracking walls. My setup is pretty simple. I only put my camera in front of the black PVC background and put the light thing on the right side. After that, I put all these props near the figure. I try to decorate it as best as I could. Once I finish decorating, I start sprinkling this baking soda to make it looks like a snow falling. Also to make the surrounding area covered in snow, I just spread it around the figure and the props. Basically this is my setup, it's not really difficult to make it. Now let's start to take a shot. Here are my settings, ISO 1000, aperture at 3.5 and the shutter speed at 1000. Make sure you set the shutter speed around 800 to 1600 if you want to take a shot of the snow particle. And don't forget to set your shooting mode to burst mode. Now I put some baking soda on my right hand and I start spreading it by clapping my hand or sprinkling it while pressing the shutter button with my left hand. As you can see here, I took a lot of photos. Try to find the best one. I already marked my photo with this green circle. Since the snow spread it in different area, now I'm going to blend the snow in Photoshop. Open your Photoshop and drag the picture one by one. First, I'm gonna open this one. Click open image. As you can see here, the snow only comes from the right side. So I will open another image that have the snow on the left side. This one is great, uh, so I will drag it again and just click OK. You can see the difference between these two pictures by pressing this eye icon. Change the top layer blending style to lighten. Now the snow will come from both sides, left and right. And I think it's already a pretty good picture. Let's import another one. To blend all these pics, basically you just need to put the one with the snow on top of the layer, then change the blending style to lighten. If you stack more than two pictures, you will see more snow which is good for your pic. And make sure the snow comes not only from one side. So don't forget to take lots of photo in the shooting process. I will make this process a bit faster since it's repetitive. Now I will open another picture, but this picture is the one that got no snow, 
and also the one with the cleanest wall in detail. So make sure you have one picture like this. Drag it to Photoshop. Click OK and move this pick a little bit to match the position. Just click enter if you're done. Unlock this background layer and put the previous picture below it. Select this layer 0 and create a layer mask by clicking this icon. Start pressing on the face of the wally figure with brush tool. Don't forget to change the foreground color to black. Also brush the body if you think you need to make it sharper. I think that's all that I can teach you for today. Here are the pictures that I use. Check the bonus link in the description to get all these 5 images. I think you can practice with it. And this is the picture after I blend it in Photoshop. And this one is after I retouch it in Lightroom. Basically just make the temperature cooler and increase the shadow. Now give this video a like and share it if you think it's useful. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorial. Also if you have any question or comments, just type it down below. Thank you so much for watching this. See you guys. Bye.